Hi guys, um, I thought I'd do a things that I'm loving at the moment, 2012 so far, so I suppose like a January, February favourites. Um, there is a few, quite a few MAC items here which I do apologise because I know they're quite high end prices but um, they're what I'm loving at the moment so um, yeah, first things first, um, I'm absolutely loving as you can tell because of the state of it and there's still quite a lot left which I'm very very pleased about because I'm going to be forever using this all through the summer as well but I use this mainly every day oh there's one other thing actually because I've got all my favourites here I just pulled them all out and went yeah I've been wearing that wearing that so um no actually yeah I'll do it while I'm starting sorry I don't know what I'm doing it's my MAC face and body um I bought this beginning of last summer I suppose after watching Lollipop 26 one of her videos about it and I've wanted it for so long so many years probably about like two and a half years three years I've been wanting it I just bought it all out and went and I bought it thinking yeah you know no actually it's yeah, my I'll do it all time sorry I don't know what I'm doing today it's my man face and body um I bought it this it's really really good you've got to check the beginning of last summer I suppose after watching Lollipop 26 one of her videos about it and I've wanted it for so long so many years probably about two and a half years three years I've been wanting this and I bought it thinking yeah you know I hope it lives up to my spectators can't even talk today and um it does it really really does you've got to shake the bottle like mad before you use it but I absolutely love it you've got to work with it quick you've got to know the product first you've got to really use it a few times before you get used to it because it does dry very very quick as an oil based one so um, I use it with one of my stippling brushes which is my elf stippling brush so absolutely love that and it washes out nicely as well I did used to use it with my Sigma F15 duo brush but I now use that for um, other MSFs on my Mac just you know for highlighting stuff and blush so um yeah no I do recommend this very very much I absolutely love it like I said it's, it's oil based so it's very very hard to get off the skin you've got to work it into your skin really quickly but I do love that it gives you such a nice gluey glowy glow <sighs> shall I shut up now because I just can't talk but yeah that's face mac and body and I'm in I can't even remember what colour it is anymore it's NW it's probably 15 or 20 I don't know it's rubbed off now I can't see it no NW something because I'm the warm one um the next one is my finishing powder by mac absolutely love this this is my second one i've ever had i absolutely love it i can't be without this as a finishing powder or if i'm not wearing foundation for the day i would just conceal and then put this on just for a little bit of coverage but absolutely love the natural ones so um yeah as you can tell it's gone down quite a bit now still a little bit of a bump there but absolutely love that and um yeah it's one of my holy grails i can't be without my finishing powder should have done this one first really but this is my Olay complete care radiance multi radiance for health looking skin and this has got spf 15 and i use this as my moisturizer every morning um underneath my makeup and it just gives me that lovely glow it gives me all my minerals and nutrients that i need and spf 15 so it's great to look after my skin for when i'm out there in the summer and it's got the little pump and i absolutely love this it's only something like i think i get this when it's on offer so i get it for when it's like five pounds something but normally it's like nine ten pounds so um yeah i absolutely love this and it's just really creamy on the skin and it absorbs in really really quickly and i use that underneath my foundation absolutely love my my moisturizer there um i might as well just get the mac ones out of the way this at the moment because i'm going lighter hair um i'm absolutely loving this blush and believe it or not it's the only mac blush i own because i'm not a blush kind of person because my freckly quite pale tone english rose skin as people like to call it but this is um what i got off a blog post and i don't normally buy off blog posts. um so yeah it's in hand finished and it's 
absolutely lovely um, it gives me that pale pink but kind of gold shimmer to it which I absolutely love you might not be able but with my pale skin it really does sorry the lighting is going down so I'm trying to do this as quick as possible so I don't know if you can see that but it just gives me a lovely little flush and plus a little highlight as well so absolutely love that product um, no, my last MAC one, I lied, I'm sorry, um, is my all-time favourite eyeshadow of all time. So my MAC palette is Satin Taupe. Um, I'm using that all the time lately and I absolutely love it in the crease or I put it all over the lid, under the lid, just smudge it out, put a black liner, mascara and I'm off. Um, absolutely love it. It's, it is and I think it always will be. Nothing will beat this as yet from MAC eyeshadows but um, nothing will replace this it's my favourite favourite eyeshadow from them so um, I don't know if the lighting is hitting I don't know I'll try and do a swatch for you guys but it's not brilliant but it's just that gold satin taupe yeah I recommend that everyone should have that in their collection um, it's a lot like let me just get this it's between because I was trying to look at the Urban Decay Naked palette and this is the original one and it's sort of how can I describe well I don't know. sort of ish if you put together half baked and smog if you sort of hold knit that and hope yeah I recommend then everyone try this back in the collection not as light as that um, it's, not it's a lot like it sort of gives you that kind of it's because I was trying to look at the Urban Decay Naked palette and this is the original one and it's sort of, how can I describe, well, sort of ish if you put together half baked and smog if you sort of mix them two colours together because it's not as light as that and it's not as dark as that so um, it sort of gives you that kind of so that satin taupe and that smog and half baked there together, sort of ish if you want to dupe for that, but they're my favourite go-to eyeshadows. Um, my next concealer that I've been using at the moment is the Collection 2000, and yeah, I've really, really gone through this. It's nearly, nearly dried up. Um, the only thing about this one is you can see all the writing on the packaging comes off, but that doesn't affect me whatsoever because I still know what one it is. But um, yeah, I'm going to get that, I think, in the darker shade for the summer because I've got this in one. I think that's too light. So um, absolutely love that for concealing my eyes. That's, yeah, that's really, that's one of my other holy grail items. Um, the next one that I've been using at the moment because my hair colour is lightened is the NARS and absolutely love this product it is the Malaska one there and it's lovely it looks very very scary but it's not and it's just like a cream but you put it on like your highlight colours not highlight colours your contour colours I have done a video on this if you go back and have a look and I'll show you where to contour properly I've done a video on that but you put it there and you blend it in or do it with a stippling brush just blend it in and yeah it just gives you that extra extra little little flush so little bronze so I absolutely love that at the moment can't get enough of that um my other holy grails are because my hands are so dry at the moment is hand food soap and glory can't be without that I've actually these next three products are on my bedside table so every night when I put my glasses on ready to read or ready to YouTube or blog or etc these are my three <laughs> three ocean potions on my said bedside which is for my hands my eight hour cream which is nearly all gone but I have had this like six seven years it's ridiculous i've had it for so long i've got a little miniature one so i have to buy a big one and the clarin right and for my last two products um i've been loving i can't get enough of them you can see because i've used quite a bit of it if you looked in some of my other haul videos you'll notice that i went on a bit of a perfume spree um it was my new kind of hobby kind of addictive hobby and tried to get as many harajuku lovers before they've discontinued which they all have now and the one that i'm loving is the super g it's the limited edition one but it's absolutely gorgeous it's it's such a summery i don't know because obviously the spring's on its way <laughs> yeah right so cold out there but 
anyway as the spring is sort of coming it's such a coconutty kind of fresh it's just so coconutty it's beautiful i've just been spraying that and people have been going what's that really it's like um i've just stepped out of the shower like coconut kind of smell some of my hair in all over and it's just really really lovely so i absolutely love my super g harajuku and she's so cute anyway and my last thing as you can tell is my yankee christmas it's just so coconut so it's beautiful i've just been spraying that up on the and people can go now it's that really it's like um i've just stepped out of the shower like coconut kind of smell some of my hair in all over and it's just really really lovely so i absolutely love my super g haraduku and she's so cute anyway and my last thing as you can tell is my yankee christmas cookie candle so as you can tell that because i've gone down quite a bit on it now it's about to hit which i don't want it to run out but i do have spare brand new one as well just in case so um yeah i've been absolutely loving that it follows me everywhere around in the house in the bath <laughs> downstairs <laughs> in the kitchen everywhere